All right, folks, today's the day we are going to paint the van. Pretty excited. I uh, hope the rain holds off. It's a little cloudy today, but uh, the weather says it's not supposed to rain, so it's probably going to rain. First thing I'm going to do is get my bucket of water. First thing I got to do is wash this sucker and get all the dust and dirt off. Um, you know, I've seen videos where they say, oh, you're supposed to wash it with a degreaser and whatnot. Nah, nah, we're not fucking doing that. We're just going to wash it with some good old soap and water, let it dry, and then slather some paint on. That's how we're doing it. So this is the paint I got from Home Depot. It was 40 bucks can. I got two of them. Uh, it's Glidden. It's a exterior primer and paint in one. Color I got, what was it again? Oh yeah, it was Afternoon Martini Green. Um, so the Glidden paint was 40 bucks. And it, the one I wanted to get was a different kind of paint and it had a really nice color, exactly the color I wanted, but it was $76 a can. So I was like, I can't afford that. But you know what? I picked a green I like. We're just gonna have to roll with it. It's gonna have to do. Whatever it looks like is what it looks like. So I tried to go the closest to army green as I could get. So that's the paint that I got. I also got some spray can black spray for the bumpers and all that stuff. So you'll see that I did not cover the windows with any newspaper and, and tape. I only covered the uh, keyholes around the van with some tape because I don't want any of the paint getting gunged up. But basically I'm just going to have a wet rag with me. If I get any paint on the windows, I'm going to take it off. Otherwise I'm painting all this edging, painting this, you know, I'm painting the handles. I'm going to paint them all black after and the bumper so if any paint gets on i don't really care if it gets on the window i'm gonna wipe it off oh. we're taking a chance here folks i have a dollar store paint roller and it's a sponge type paint roller uh, we'll see i don't know we'll see how it goes And a uh, quick 10, 15 minute break. I got my coffee. And I just finished my first coat. Uh, it actually turned out okay. Managed to do the window, like around the windows okay. I'm gonna go around with a, a paintbrush and do it by hand after. Got uh, some spaces I have to do here. This part here kept leaking water all the time, so I have it won't stop leaking, so I have a weird little paint section there. I also noticed I didn't do a good enough job sanding. You can still see the lines, but whatever. It's honestly, it's whatever. So, but yeah, here's what the first coat looks like. All right, so I'm gonna finish the rest of my break here and get back to doing a second coat. And I might even do the roof part too. Get some of it done so it looks a little better. All right, folks, see you in a bit. <clears throat> All right, folks, so there she is. Coat number two, done. I think it's actually looking pretty good. Here's a shot from the sunshine. Uh, now I'm just gonna go around and touch up, do all the touch-ups, like in, in these parts and near the windows and stuff like that around here, these kind of things. So uh, 
yeah, I'm pretty excited, but I'm pretty happy so far. Pretty good. All right, everyone, so this is what I'm using. I got a little dish I'm gonna put my paint in, and I got my brush from the dollar store. Uh, only cost a buck. Uh, all my painting supplies, minus the paint, cost me $20. I got it all at Dollarama. Uh, the tray, the paint brushes, the rollers, all that stuff. I've only used one roller so far, that small little sponge one from the start. It's been holding up pretty good. Well, folks, there she be. In all its glory, got her done. Got uh, two coats of the touch-ups done. Around the windows. And then two coats of the base paint. I think it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty tired though. It has been a long day of painting. Um, doesn't look like a whole lot, but each coat was a couple hours and uh, I'm ready to call it. So I'm going to sit down, roll one up, and I'll catch up with you in a few minutes. So I'm finally relaxing. A long day of painting. But uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, you know? So, the reason I chose green is because I want to be camouflaged when I'm out in the woods, you know? Not only is it gonna be my home camper van, but it's also like, kind of like a prepper van or a survival van. If I ever have to shit hit the fan with, you know, civilization, and I have to get the hell out of Dodge, I'll be hidden out in the woods. Some might call it paranoid, I call it prepared. So as for the painting, it went pretty well. The paint went on nice. Um, I didn't have any technique. I'm not a professional. I just had that little roller. And sometimes I was going up and down, short and quick. Sometimes I was doing long sideways strokes, long up and down, just whatever. I was just covering it. When I first opened the can of paint, it looked really green, like bright green. I was like, this is not what I ordered. I was actually kind of nervous. But you know, once I rolled it on and it dried, it actually kind of turned, it darkened. So, and it kind of looks more like the color I picked. So I'm actually not too, uh, too upset about it. It turned out pretty good. It's, my neighbor said that I should leave the chrome. And you know what? I really do like it. But again, if it's gonna be a survival van, I gotta have black. It's gotta be blacked out the chrome. And he was like, oh, it'll just peel later. That may be true, I'm sure it is true, but whatever, I'm just gonna do it. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that painting episode. I'm gonna go get some rest, relax, eat some dinner. Tomorrow, I'm gonna come out and paint it black and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, folks. Thank you for watching it. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever you think. If you like the paint, tell me if you don't. If I should chrome or paint the chrome or not, let me know. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>